up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of the CP Podcast. I am your host, CP. This is the CP Podcast, the podcast where CP talk about the shit he want to talk about. So when you jump in my comments talking about, oh, man, this podcast used to be dope, but they'll, I don't give a fuck what you think. Talk about the shit I want to talk about. Get your own fucking podcast and go your whack ass on there and talk about the shit you want to talk about. This is the CP Podcast. Sometimes it's going to be serious. Sometimes I don't give a fuck about what we talk about. You give a fuck? That's your problem. To me, goddamn, who gave you comment? You probably in jail, nigga. You probably in jail. Commenting on people's podcasts. You're probably incarcerated. To my right. A person who has nothing to do with nothing I just said. Even though y'all be mean to her in the comments. Yeah, she a little naive sometimes about the way the world works. I don't think so. Outside of the rules. I don't I, give a fuck. I, I it's my motherfucking road, dog. Traveled. Give it up for Maya. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and then, I got my dog in here. He didn't fuck around and came out his square. He's not even wearing black today. He's wearing purple. Because y'all comments. Even though the comments be pretty good about Amir. I ain't gonna lie. They be like, Amir be right, low key. Amir don't give a fuck. You should offer Amir food. Oh, that kind of shit, because Amir controls the narrative. <laughs> Amir is like VH1. We just in here talking, and he turned us into arguing. Anyway, give it up for Amir. All right, now that we got that out the way, man. I will be eating today, too. If you don't want to hear that, fucking leave. Why can't you eat fudge or something soft? My, the crunchier it is, the more cut up as a man I'm going to be. <laughs> the softer the food, the softer in the middle as a man I will be. You know, they came out with cake Oreos, fat nigga shit. Crunchy Oreos, real nigga, man shit, and they're vegan. So, uh, yeah, I'm not eating nothing, you know, no mashed potatoes, nothing. I need shit with a bone in the middle, a crunch to it, chips. I got man teeth that need to crunch things. Yeah, like I said, people don't want to hear it. Like, duh, leave. God damn, I'm so sick of this shit. Talk about what we want to talk about. Us three in here, they get to hear it. And if you're on my Patreon, you really need to shut the fuck up. Because I love y'all. Y'all pay to be here. Y'all know how who I am. I don't talk common sense shit every single day. And I'm admitted to that. A lot of y'all be dumb as hell, thinking that you really connected to some shit. You ain't saying shit. See, the thing is, why don't they understand? Nigga, shut up. God damn, I'm sick of fake smart niggas. Anyway, dog. Anyway. What's going on? Did you see that movie Smile? Oh my God. No, I didn't see it. You it's fall a, for it every time. It's a really good Oh, horror. this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it's it, it yeah, look at her, look at her. This is oh God. What is wrong with white women, man? Look at her. Look at her. They look scary. She looks, she probably saying something nice too. I know, right? And then that's why I read the book and I watched the show. But look at her face. Oh, she, this is, uh, she's possessed by some sort of demon creature. I know. Look at her inside that zipper. Ooh, she like, she a bite a nigga dick off. Look at her inside the zipper. You might want that. Anyway, go ahead. So what happened? So I'm not going to spoil anything for people. But basically, it's kind of like this demon creature that is always smiling at you. And then, so this girl commits suicide in front of somebody else while smiling, and then that person kind of catches the infection of the demon creature, mm. and it gets passed along like that. Like, you smile and, and kill yourself in front of somebody, and then the next person, and then the next person, and Was the next person. Was any of the smilers black? The, okay, so, yeah, you know spoiler alert. Smile. No, Take there was. Look at all my pictures, I'd be like, there was one, if you if you are going to see it, if you don't want to hear a spoiler, just shut your ears. The one guy that did get away was a black guy. But of he course. had he didn't kill himself. He had to kill somebody else. He probably, he probably had no side to And he wouldn't go smile regardless. He was like, mm, 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 mm. What the fuck are you going to do without a side tube? You don't have no side tube and vampire bite you? You ain't going to be able to bite nobody else. Don't you get new new fangs when a vampire cuts you? But you, them fangs grow from a tooth length. They don't grow from nothing. 
They probably come right down to being a regular bicuspid. And then you like, uh huh. <laughs> then you got a side tooth. Nah, now you got to. I mean, yeah, you look better, but you're going to get skinny quick because you need blood. You can't go outside in the daytime. Ain't nobody going to be like, man, Terry looking fucked up. He got his teeth fixed, but he look crazy. Well, I like this movie because it's kind of um, kind of like demonic. It's kind of like the idea of these creatures that we can't see that are mm-hmm. always around us, ready to infect us if it gets in somehow. Like archons, like these demonic entities. What's an archon? So an archon is in Gnosticism, which is like they say Jesus was actually a Gnostic, but it's a what very does that ancient. Mean? It means knowing, or a, there are a lot, a lot of these sects in early Christianity where um, they believed that the Creator God was actually a mischievous force and He wasn't all good. So. Those are the Gnostics. There's this concept called archons, and they believe that the creators of this world, who the actual architects of this world, uh, were these people called, these things called archons, and Christians might understand them better as angels, and that some are fallen angels. Some are good and some are fallen, and the fallen ones, it kind of overlaps with uh, demonology, kind of like prey on people. And so this is kind of what is going into here where they're preying on these humans' energy, and it's just a society where demons exist. Mm. Yeah. Sound like a strip club. Hey, lust demon. It's a lust demon? Well, No, this isn't a lust demon. This is a murder demon. But there could be a lust demon. You know it's a lust demon. Demon's probably some freaks. Let me shoot some demon pussy. Oh, this bitch is crazy. But I'm going back over there. This fall, she was light skinned. Say no, all light skinned girls not evil. Just the ones on Earth. (laughs) Why were they evil to you? Huh? What did they do to you? Hey man, they feed on your wallet. That's just that one that rapper you showed me, and I was like, is she that pretty? And you're like, oh my god, she's fantastic. You talking about the one who's talking about niggas as a munch? She's got red hair or blondish hair. Yeah. That's uh, Ice Spice. Ice Spice. Yeah, you guys go crazy for her. I mean, look, duh, it's, it's just, niggas go crazy for what she working with. <laughs> women, women, y'all be going crazy too. So-and-so drop a new dick pic, y'all be like, yeah, my God, that's what it is. Who, Every night. Who? who does that? Women. No one's excited about a dick pic. My, uh, Unsolicited. No Maya. one is excited about it, okay? Maya. Not you in the history a, of the hey, world. Go re- rewind the tape. Maya was hella excited about Nature Boy. Like, don't y'all get it? <laughs> <laughs> don't you guys understand what he's doing? He's a sick dick demon. <laughs> I'm like, Maya, calm down. No. He, he had his demons. I remember that. They were mad at me for a minute. Yeah, they was. Maya wanted to be on the island so bad. Like, they're just crazy. Look at what's going on over here. <laughs> Let's watch it again. Oh my, my, turn this shit off when you get corrupted. They were fighting each other. Oh my god! You wanted to scrap. So Maya was cults. like, "They're just, they're crazy." <laughs> I quit, man. Anyway, um, all right. So this movie, I, I, I gotta watch this. Movie. I don't like scary shit. You don't like scary movies? Oh my god, no! Is Why? that surprising? Yeah, you're always talking so much shit. I figure you love scary movies. I don't fuck with no scary movies, man. Why not? Uh, duh, they're scary. Like, anybody got time to be like, if I'm a, if I'm gonna entertain myself and immerse myself into a world, it's either gonna have to be some kind of action, like Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, which was amazing, or a comedy. I don't know. I'm not about to be like going through some bullshit with some white kids who don't know how to run and get out the way because they just fucking stupid. I can't take that shit, man. This is different. This has themes in it that I think most people, they're just going to overlook. I'm seeing a lot of horrors like this, that it's something that gets into your head and makes you do the bad things. I think that's more realistic, especially for our time. Sound like TikTok. Maybe. Maybe these mind viruses. Do you think social media could be a demon? I think it could use it. These uh, archetypes, you talked about this, these like free-floating ideas Uh that humanity has. They kind of use us to replicate. Yeah, of course they're using social media. What do you mean, free-flowing ideas? These free-floating ideas. Like, people, especially slogans. 
things like this where people think that they've thought of them, but they're just repeating a, a feeling or a slogan that someone else has said to them. So now, now they are continuing it, and they are maybe even... Uh, oh, my God. Is that like always Coca-Cola? And have you ever known a time where Coca-Cola wasn't around? In my lifetime, no. It's always a Coca-Cola. Always. Yeah. Coca-Cola. Oh, I'm deep. Amir, do you know a time when Coca-Cola wasn't around? Nope. And I used to work at the World of Coke, so... Yeah. Always Coca-Cola. Think about that. Always Coca-Cola. Always. Yeah. Like a brand could be considered an archetype, I guess. Mm-hmm. Coca-Cola one. A an idea. I mean, what you bet the difference with D-Law? What you talking about? D-Law said, hell no. He's calling cap. He was talking about the dick pic, though. What did he say about the dick pic? He just thinks people want to see his dick pics. Oh, D-Law, chill out. Chill out, man. <laughs> Stop being nasty, man. But, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. You know, women love a good dick pic if, if, if it's right. They be looking. They be like, you are crazy. <laughs> you are wild. You know what I'm saying? All of that goes into sexual harassment and all that goes into people are attracted to people they're attracted to and people, and they do these actions of attractions in front of people who they're not attracted to and then they try to do it and then everything gets fucked up. It's like flirting. You flirt with the with somebody. Oh, and the they, flirting versus harassment thing? Yeah, it's only based on the fact that it's like, I like this person, I don't like, and I, 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 like flirting was like, uh, who was flirting? Sinclair and Overton used to be flirting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Monique and Professor Ogilvy, that was fucking sexual harassment because he didn't want her, right? Yeah. He wasn't feeling her. You know what I'm saying? And then they tried to make it like, oh, but because she big. No, fuck that. He wasn't feeling her. Leave that nigga alone. I used to get on my nerves like, dog, god damn, bitch, leave the nigga alone. He said he's not feeling you. But women can take that for an answer. They, they can't take no. They're like, no, nah, you got to. You just ain't never had no fat. That's what it is. It's like, no, nah, bitch, I think I'm, I like to pick bitches up. I don't know, man. I guess that's, you know. I mean, everyone has their preferences. Some but you're not allowed like to have preferences, girls. though. Okay, you're not allowed to have preferences because then that makes you, what? Discriminatory towards mm -hmm. other, anything else. It's such a world. Toxic. This world is crazy. Like, you can't be like, oh, I only like white girls. Then you're racist. Well, I mean, if, if you're, you're already a white pushing boy, it, yeah. white girl, and you be like, I only fuck with white people. I don't think anybody's going to triple on that. You can't, I don't think but they can't. If you're say white, that. if you're if you're already but for white, them to say that though, I like white people bored because I'm white. Ain't can't, wrong with that. A teacher just told some kids he thought his race was superior, and he said that, and I think it's fucked up to even talk about that when you're not even the same race as the kids you're talking to. But he said he think he, he thinks his race is superior, and he said that everybody secretly feels that way. They're just too nice to say it. I mean, do you saying think that's that true? is that's kind of true? That's ridiculous. Yeah. Saying that is ridiculous. Yeah. Why doesn't somebody think to think that their race is better? You know more about your race. You're more partial to your race, for real, when you really think about it, because you know the whole story. So you're always automatically going to assume that your race is the star of the movie. That's how it goes. What does superior mean, though? That's the thing about it. Because yeah, what, what do we mean superior by superior? Superior meaning more important to you. It depends on what qualities you're talking about. Uh -uh. All qualities. All qualities. Qual to you. It's hard to make the it's hard to make the yeah, argument that all races white person, are good at math. All races are not good at math. I'm not saying all races are good at math. I'm saying that, but you do understand that there are people in each race that are the best at math. So if you take every race and take their best, then they're probably pretty much equal across the board. The top mathematicians of every race. The, there's certain ones. That's what I'm saying is like certain ones could actually make that argument because they just fill up Nobel. Prize winners. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about flat out skill, math test. Black man, Asian man, white man, um, Mexican man, Indian man. The best. The best across the board? The vi Of course. I'm talking about the but best the, across the board. But then, okay, maybe the best will be, but then the top 10 won't. The top 10 will fill up with certain ones. You're have you seen? Have you seen? Like, like seven through 10 to be dumb as fuck. No, no, no. Have you seen the US math team? We got a math team? Like our national math team. When, when, when was the tryouts? Because four times four, 16, 16 times 16. Well, well here's the thing is that, that you got to depend it on, that's our, that's the U.S.'s math, math team. But we beat China, which is good. So if you're saying in the year 2022 where everything that's is decided by Jesus code. Christ. You're saying that we beat China, huh? Yeah, we beat China. <laughs> 
It's, it's the American team beat China. And we beat China. Yeah, they beat China. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. This team. This team beat, Chia- beat this China. This team beat China. Hmm. Well, you have a problem with this team beating China, CP? This American team beating China? All right, let's move on to the next little thing. Cause I, I, you know, you ain't about to get me canceled. You see what happened to Kyrie. I'm just saying, like, all right, cool. Okay. Who the coach? <laughs> Show me the coach. <laughs> the math team pull coach. up the coach. Okay, well, I'm gonna pull up the coach. Okay. Right there, right there. Right there. Oh, For top wait. link, top link. Down at the bottom, 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 bottom. No, 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 down, down, down. No, no, over in the over in the links, my to the left. Oh, okay. The coach who led the team. There we go. May is fingers crossed black. Oh. I'm out. So define race. <laughs> so. What do you mean? Uh, well, first off, Americans are all, the next generation is going to be a big mix up. A lot more Asians coming in and, uh, you know. No, I don't think everyone can say that their race is superior. I think that guy was wrong to say that white people are superior. Everyone can say whatever the fuck they want to say. No, they're not wrong. <laughs> build me a robot. If you can't build a robot, your race isn't superior. Because that's what, everything comes down to warfare. Everything always comes down to who's going to win a war. What? Yup. Yup. Everything always comes down to My. war. Everything comes down to war, right? Power. Your ability to inflict your power and authority on the world. That's that's how superior superiority has always been judged in this world. You just brought up mathematics. Yeah, these guys are building the robots. But it breaks down to them being better in math, though. That's where how wars are fought now. With math. Coding, robotics, yeah. This is not Achilles' age where you got to go fight people. This is drones and shit. So that's why I don't think any race is superior. No, it sounds like you do think a race is superior, but you don't want to say it because if you, okay, well then look at who's, who has the power because who are these Asians building the robots to fight for? Like, this is the U.S. math, uh, math team. Yeah. This ain't the Chinese math team. It's the U.S. If these are the mathematics, then they're going to be building for the U.S. The U.S., Race that's in charge is white people. It's mixed up now. That's not our military is not most okay. The military is a mix up. The military is the strength. That's not the power. And our who is the military protecting? Who is the military's agenda being pushed on? Do you don't think our politicians are representative of most people? They're a little. I our think... mayor is black now. Oh my god, my I feel that. I feel that. Which is good. But everything goes up the ladder. Even the president does not really have the power that everybody thinks he has. The president is just a representative. That's like saying, that's like the class president telling the senior class that they don't have school on Fridays. It's like, no, nah, nigga, the principal said, that's what this shit really so is like. So who do you think is the principal? Man, look, that ain't for me to decide, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to handle a long list of shit I, I got to do to be able to get back to the podcast. You know what I'm saying? But that's above my pay grade. But it's like, come on, man. We getting to the bottom of it. We getting to the bottom of it. Because in my opinion, superiority as a race has nothing to do with how you manage or mismanage power. It's about genetics, in my opinion. It's about um, size and strength. Like if these guns went away, if these computers weren't ever able to be charged, if communication went down, then who's the biggest and strongest? Who is the, like, who can really mend your ass to their will if it wasn't for all of this, 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 that, and the third? This, this, that, and the third is all dependent upon a system and the grid being up and all of this shit. But when all that shit falls and it's all said and done, and it's just... At the apocalypse? I mean, I don't know about no apocalypse because I might not necessarily believe in the the apocalyptic um, theory, but... uh, well, until the until this all falls out, I'm looking at the um, demographics of the military, and it's pretty it's pretty um, diverse. Um, I mean, white not Hispanic, black not Hispanic, twenty percent. That's like plus fifty percent for the population. 
That's really good. Plus fifty. Come yeah, on. Yeah, because we're like we're like thirteen percent of the population. Right. So it's not plus fifty. That's like plus seven percent. And no, uh, what are you talking about? So if we're thirteen percent and we're hitting twenty percent, that's like one hundred and fifty. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what yeah. you're saying. But I think I think we're closer to like fourteen to fifteen percent. I don't think we that close. I mean, if we are fourteen, we're low fourteen. I don't know. But I see what you're saying. I yeah, I guess it's like a it's like a fifty percent bump. But I mean, and they're the one, they're doing a lot of development there. Mm-hmm. Like they make all the decisions. This next generation is not going to be as racist as the past generations. Oh my god, the generation that we're in right now should not even be as racist as it is, and that should tell you something. <laughs> okay, I guess you're nodding your head like you get it. I mean, yeah, where we are right now should not be as racist as it is. Because of how open the world is, we're in everybody's house, we're in everybody's life, we're starting to see how much of the same we really all are with TikTok and Instagram and everything. And still, it's still as racist as it really probably ever has. No, I think every hundred years is going to be, um, we had it in 2020, it's, it's the, the reset. It's like souls are coming back or some shit. That's, it's like that's pretty that's pretty uh spirit. You, you just tell me a spirit the first thing you brought up was a spirit that make a bitch smile and kill herself and i'm that's telling you that's a movie but i'm telling you that's that not a real the thing. spirit that's a movie of that the, the spirit of racism there could be something along with that i'm just giving you a theory and you shooting it down like oh my god that's ridiculous but these white girls that smile in the gap and then they kill them it's like come on dog see anything here's the, here's anything. the thing is that racial things get a lot of clicks so if you're a com- if you're a reporter mm-hmm. And you want people to click so you get whatever money, you're gonna put things that have more clicks. That's just how reporters are taught. If you look at the way journalists are taught to report stories, they're only if it bleeds, it leads. They're told report the stuff people will click on, report the conflicts, never report anything good going on. But guess what? Always though? report conflict. Guess what though? The fact that you understand that concept means that that concept is knowledge. That's like saying like the food is fake. We all know that already. It's nothing else to eat except fake shit. Unless you want to grow your own shit, go to Whole Foods and do whatever. But for the most part, the market is cornered. We know that they're giving us clickbait. You ever click on clickbait and piss yourself off because it ain't shit but clickbait? You be like, God damn it! I thought they really was finna tell me. It's been a while. It's been a while. But I see what I see what you mean. So what are you saying that the fact that I know that is good or bad? The fact that you know that means that. I was trained as a reporter. Everybody has a choice, though. Yeah. Right? It's like, we know that wrestling is fake. So why are they filling up arenas? Well, that's like saying there's more wrestling now, so there's more conflict between people than there's ever been. That just means that it's on your TV more. And this is how journalists are trained. Journalists are trained to make people mad. They're trained to make people scared and trained to make people mad. We can't say just because we see more news articles of distress that our age is more distressed than previous ages. There's just more journalists who have to get a little bit of the pie. But Maya, isn't the journalism, quote unquote, the way that you're saying it, the journalism kind of dictates the fear, their fear mongering. And then what happens is that fear grows into action. Those actions dictate an attitude. That attitude just becomes the racism, the 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 systemic shit, the disparity of Oh, I got to get mine before the other races get theirs. I got to do, you know what I'm saying? All of that falls into the same category. Yeah, and that's why we as influencers or semi-influencers have to do our absolute best to combat that. How? And to not feed it. How? To know that. To know that these people are messing with us, these individuals, this system, they're messing with us so they can get us mad. It feeds off our negative energy. So we need to stop feeding it at all times. Always stop feeding it. How do they stop feeding? I mean, you stop responding. You stop. You stopped reacting, and you start acting. Mm-hmm. So if something makes you mad and you react, you say, "Well, first off, why did this person give me this information? What do they have to get out of me?" Because some people there are influencers whose entire job is to make you mad, so that you follow their page and you click on their thing, and that's just that's just a hustle. Like, seriously, I was trained in this. And then I was like, wait, what are you talking about? What are we supposed to do? And then I, I just, I ended up switching my majors. Mm. So like, that's, that's, they didn't even understand what they were doing. And they didn't understand what would happen if they'd started doing it in an internet age. Mm. 
So Illuminati or what are you what are we talking about today? Scare me with some real shit. I don't want to hear no movie shit. Fuck my day up. Let's go. Okay. What do you think this is? A vagina. That is a very cavernous vagina, CP. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just joking. That's like an underground city. Yes. That is an underground city in Derenkenyu. No, it's in Cappadocia, and it's called Derenkuyu. My apologies. Derenkuyu. So basically, this guy was just in the 60s. He was just doing some work on his basement, and he hit down one of these walls and found all of these underground cities. And let me let me pull up where this is. Capito. Here we go. So there are numerous, and these things are old too. They say that they're at least they can date they can date them their use back to eight hundred years. But this guy who just put out the Ancient Apocalypse on Netflix, Graham Hancock, mm -hmm. he's like, well, I could go back to. Um, 12,000 years ago. This could be, these could be like underground bomb shelters to keep humans safe. What kind of bombs did they have 12,000 years ago? Well, here's the thing, the Younger Dryas impact theory. So they say 12,000 years ago, meteors hit the United States or the, where it was Canada and completely changed the world. It was like, it flooded all down the middle. That's why Graham Hancock says there's a flood myth over almost every um, people. They have this great flood myth. And that it was like that. It changed, it changed everything. So why would you go underground to have my damn flood? Because it also changed the environment. This is his theory. This guy, let me just, this. When I think about do you know how much water is underground? They have cisterns. Yeah, they have some wells and there are many many stories deep well this kind of makes sense what makes sense the underground cities um and what what year did they say that, how long ago was this they don't know they can't really say you yet. can't date rock <clears throat> so they got to find stuff that was in it. Because this is this is kind of what makes sense is why we were saying like why were uh, they were making these. Remember we kept saying like they a lot of civilizations used to build mounds, but it also be like the same way down. And it was the way that they protected themselves because this is what they understood as protecting ourselves from the elements. Either we build something to cover or we get under cover. So this kind of makes sense in that aspect of that time period for what we understand that this is a way for people to stay safe is a way to make sure that we're going to be fine away from the elements of things that we consider to be these apocalyptic kind of storms and all these unreal, you know, imagine that you're back then, there's no way to communicate what the hell is going on. Like we understand volcanoes, we understand earthquakes, we understand tsunamis, rain and all that kind of stuff. But back then they could have some kind of understanding of it. But if it was never taught to, you wouldn't know. It's not like something you could just look up or if that universally we all are taught to do the same thing. So if this was the way of your understanding and being like, okay, in order for us to stay alive and protect ourselves, we go underground. And it's just something that you've, that was a, a part of like civilization and that's just the norm. And I feel like a lot of places got that because it's like, if we keep running into these different civilizations from back then, why do they keep building things to cover themselves and also go under? Mm -hmm. There has to be a way of them protecting themselves. It's just a natural way of what they, what they're using, what they had to make sure that they can stay alive. Yeah. So what does that look like to you guys? Like an ant, uh, like a fucking ant farm. Yeah, like an ant farm, because they can they can dig. It's kind of soft rock, and they can dig. Now they first they thought that this was built by the Christians to run away and hide from the Assyrians, mm -hmm. and I believe like the sixth century or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then they found stuff that dated it to like eight hundred BC, but they don't really know how how old it is. And they keep finding more of these little cities in Turkey. Turkey's an old city. I mean, that's like the cradle of civilization so wait a that minute. we know of. 800 BC is like 3,000 years ago. Yeah, but Graham Hancock, Graham Hancock, um, he thinks that this is dated to 12,000 years ago. 
wait a sec, I'll, I'll bring this up because he actually has a really good thing on Netflix right now. And he, he went back a long time ago. He used to do fingerprint of the gods, but people like laughed him out of the room. They were like, you're crazy. There's no ancient civilization. But then they found out about the younger Dryas, um, the younger Dryas impact theory with the comets. Mm -hmm. And this was somebody else entirely. This was a geologist came out and said, hey, it looks like the earth was hit with all these meteors from this meteor shower that we pass through often actually. And it may have destroyed and killed 50% of people in the Northern hemisphere. And they're finding this evidence for it. What do we do now? What, what defense do we have now for meteor showers? Well, NASA, <laughs> NASA. NASA just landed a, a rocket on a meteor. So we keep funding NASA and we keep making sure that everybody can figure out robotics. <laughs> so, because that, that's probably our biggest thing that's going to destroy the whole world. We've got like global warming, we've got like a nuclear disaster. And if we ever get hit by an asteroid this big, there's really nothing. We just have to prevent it from happening. And so when I asked you that about three minutes ago, your answer was NASA put a rocket on oh, yeah. a meteor. What does that mean? What when they use the rocket to they, shift the course of where the the meteor was coming. So if it's something that's coming towards Earth, they can shoot something back at it at a trajectory that'll make it bounce back away. So they they can deflect it. Mm -hmm. Hit that bitch or break them up. Yeah. What was that movie? Apollo thirteen? No, not Apollo thirteen. Um, Armageddon. Armageddon. I don't want to close my eyes. I don't want to fall yeah, asleep because I'll miss you, bitch. The asteroid belt is literally just what? A planet behind? Is it behind it's Mars, Mars, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which could have been an old planet itself that got broken up. I can't really see. But this was in October. So I think they're like, yo, low key, maybe we could do something about it if they spot one. Why don't they blow the fucking rocket up and then blow the thing up? Whatever, it's probably too deep. It's probably very, very hard to do. Um, the thing it could just start raining the motherfuckers too. The thing is, is that we can't we can't is, stop those. I think that's how planets are born. If they smash into us, they'll have water on that rock. They'll have all kind of matter, DNA, seeds, plant matter, everything, and that could just form a new planet. Well, that's true. Or it could be bringing some sort of um, dangerous Disease. pathogen that could just destroy us. Hey, look. A 75 foot, foot wide asteroid came close to Earth today. Well, that's good. Today. NASA doesn't tell you until. <laughs> 75 feet. How big is Sometimes that? They don't that's not even that big. Know. Sometimes they don't even that's know. That's not that big, honest. but when you think about like, all right, 75 feet, if that hit anything here, it'll fuck it up. Right, but it's going to burn up and get smaller and smaller by the time it gets into the atmosphere. That's it's what we hope. still going fast. That's what we hope. Yeah. You know? Well, there was one that hit. That's most of them. They they supposedly the atmosphere will burn them up before they actually make any real impact. But there's no I hope guarantee. Some of them went to hit Russia. I hope it fucked up all that Chick Fil A. So there was an there was a 1908 one. But where was the the one that happened recently? I heard about that one. And it was like what, all the trees, the trees or something like leaned over or something like that. Oh yeah, For it was real? crazy. Yeah, yeah. crazy. Because they got all that land in Siberia. You gotta think when the impact hits, it's like a shockwave. So if all that wind comes through and it's like a, it's like an explosion. Let me, where's my thing? Okay, so here we go. Here we go. So you gotta fuck Russia up. It won't do nothing to the IRS building. What's this? And that's an interesting thing he talks about is a lot of these serpent depictions in ancient art could have come from some kind of um, the people trying to make sense of that streak that they're seeing. Come on. Um, I don't make these older civilizations just look like they're dumb as hell. They knew what the fuck they was looking at. It was aliens. Come on. Here we go. Ugh, this shit nasty as fuck. Watch. Oh my God. Mm. That was all the way out. So this was a small one, like all the way out in Siberia. That's crazy. That's very scary, Terry. 
That is very scary, Terry. Russia just be going through it. I don't even want to go over there. You want to go? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Look at that shit. It look cold and just... It looked like my hands are hurt if I was over there. It looks like New Jersey. Yeah. Fuck out of here, dog. <clears throat> look at the old lady. They just put her shit in the sling. You know, damn well, she's too old. She need a cast. Yeah, I'm straight. They got glass on the steps. I'm good. It's all snowy. I'm not fucking with Russia. Look at my man. It put me up really good. I was hurt in the dang thing and it hit me in the head. So that, I mean, and then, so he makes the case in this uh, series, um, Ancient Apocalypse, that that's why we see a consistent uh, serpent um, symbol. Because they're like, they're trying to warn us about an asteroid. He needs to shut the fuck up. (laughs) Ain't nobody thinking that's no goddamn serpent or none of that. It looks like a serpent? Maya, it looks like... The thing is, is... Like like I've said on, on on here before is that our depictions of what we think things are are what we base it on what we know today. Mm-hmm. And but that's my argument is against what you're saying the whole like dragons or aliens kind of thing. What we hear them describe what they saw sounds fucking otherworldly to us. But it was their first time ever seeing something like that. Their language, their dialect, and what they understand is totally different. We can't look at what they were going through in our lens because we don't understand. What was going on to them back then? Uh, they were drawing the shit, bro. It was people on it with animal heads. It was all kind of shit. They weren't, it wasn't like, it was never like, they they drew it. it, it I mean, it wasn't like, they they knew how to draw a cloud. That looked like a cloud. That but looked like smoke. Th- that does look like a serpent because you have the, the asteroid itself, the meteor itself, and then you have the tail. That kind of looks like a snake. Uh, not for at all. for someone who lived like twelve thousand years ago, you're like, what is that? It kind of looks like a snake. Okay. I just don't agree. I think that they they go to the end of it, see it's a big ass moon rock, <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, okay, that wasn't no serpent. Hey, tell him to stop chiseling the damn serpent. They you know what I'm saying? Man, I, they ain't trying to get close to that shit. That anyone who was close to that, if, look at those threats. If the younger Dryas impact theory is true, anyone anywhere near that was completely destroyed. Mm. completely the whole of North America um, and then it messed up the the climate for most people around the world and raised sea levels here's another really interesting thing I'm just gonna close that real quick I wanna talk about the bottom of the ocean too fucking with Black Panther see now that's a that's another thing is that raised sea levels so much that a lot of civilizations that would've lived by the sea were lost like we'd have been lost who we we're in Los Angeles if something that? crazy happens, oh yeah, oh, we're yeah, lost. We're done. We're, we're not even just eat your snacks. I won't even yell at you for eating snacks because it's over for us. I so, live in the hills. That is not going to make a difference for this. So this is in Indonesia, and they found this like underground pyramid, and they were like, "Well, there's no one in Indonesia. No one's been in Indonesia since uh, however long." Why is this? Oh, anyway. No one's been in Indonesia for however long. Um, there's no way they built this. But then they found this pyramid, and it actually goes underground, and it might be as old as 28,000 years old. Get in here. Cookie settings. It's accepted. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see. Okay, so that's off. All right, here we go. Confirm our I'm very particular about my cookie settings. They're trying to make you pay or something? It's trying to make me pay. I just saw it earlier. Anyway, that's annoying. Um, oh, and this, uh, we'll go back to this then. I'm, I'm going to bring up that uh, Indonesia, this in Java, this pyramid in Java that actually goes underground. Apparently, in the old Zoroastrian tradition, which actually probably got adopted from something even older, a guy was told to bring two of every animal into one of these underground cities. Like way, way back in the day. So that's like the Noah myth up again. Can you imagine that nigga underground with an elephant? Hmm? I don't know what they. They just put anything under. I'm about to write me. I'm about to write me one of these. The world's oldest pyramid is hidden. That's deep. See, they they just thought this was natural rock formation. They were like, oh, it's whatever. But then they started looking at it, and they're like, no, 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 no. Somebody put this here. And then they're like, who could have put this here? There's there's no way. It would have had to gone back gone back too far see god damn that's what's actually underneath all this and i just figured this out 
with the new technology. And I think layer four may be, so this layer, the very top, layer one, three to 4,000. So it could go back to 28,000 years. Pardon? Well, so why didn't I go on in? They probably haven't found a way to get in yet. Mm. Or it's been filled up. I mean, it was filled up. It was filled up for thousands of years. There's nobody who ever knew that this was a thing until recently. What you mean filled up? How, how can it get filled up? Dirt. Are you gonna think like like when it rains and stuff, it moves things and stuff like that? Yeah. Different shapes of land formations. It's over time. Like Earth is not the same as it was, you know, hundreds of years ago. Everything oh, yeah. shifts no, and stuff. Off top, off top, off top. Detroit looked different. So they think that under there they can. They found that there are these rectangular caverns under there, but they, they haven't been under there yet. Mm. All right, that's cool. Let's talk about the bottom of the ocean. Okay. Did you watch Black Panther? No, I'm waiting. Hmm. One of the things that they bring up. Did you see it, Amir? Mm. Hmm. One of the things that they bring up is uh, they talk about sirens, mm. but they don't call them sirens though they call them something else but they're like sea people there's not like evil light-skinned women trying to lure sailors to their desk they they like light blue like now that you mentioned it they are like a light blue they're light skin they're not dark blue they definitely light blue they're okay. like a sky blue like a sky blue chick nice ass big titty but that don't matter you know what i'm saying it's just like you know look it up not the Black Panther part, but like the sirens. I need people to understand like the what they were doing. Talk about how sirens sing to people on ships. Have you heard about this? Oh yeah, I love the story of the sirens. So yeah, they're supposed to they're supposed to lure sailors to their death. Mm -hmm. They the lure sailors voice. by making them walk off the ship, right? Something like that. I don't know if they. I, I don't know the details to to that extent. Ooh. And they're still around. Look up a video. We're not gonna scan it on that video, but they're still around. And they can fly too. It look like it's upside down, right? No, nah, but that's a, look at the wings on. It. It's like it's jumping off a cloud. Yeah, no, I'm saying they're upside like she's down. Flying. It does look like she's flying. Right. She's taking off. Is that not one of them upside down right here? I mean, she looks like a half. Um... Yeah, it's like it's jumping off the cloud. So it's like facing down. It's not upside down. It's like flying down back toward the ocean, back toward freedom, back toward like salvation, back toward a, a, a new environment of life. He got so, his hand out. Cuckoo con. He probably, they're probably lonely. So read something about sirens because I want, I want, I want, I want I, 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 God damn, I'm stuttering like a motherfucker. I want people to hear it about this because it's like, man, they didn't touch other in the movie. They just kind of used it, but it's really dope. I think we should get out of this wiki because just go to like another link. Something a little bit more organized. Oh, Britannica. Britannica is always very good. They went right back to the same damn piece of art though. <laughs> Must be a famous siren art. So Ovid wrote that the sirens were human companions of Persephone. After she was carried off by Hades, they sought Who her- Who is Persephone? Because every... I know it won Persephone. Daughter of Zeus and Demeter, the goddess uh -huh. of agriculture, wife of Hades, king of the underworld. Uh huh. Huh. And she was seized by Hades and removed to the underworld, so she got kidnapped. Oh, so she ate, this is the one, she ate the pomegranate seed and she got caught in the underworld. Um, she could not be completely freed, but had to remain one third of the year with Hades. So is this the, the winter myth? Mm -hmm. where they started to try to explain seasons. I spent four months of each year in the underworld was no doubt meant to account for the barren appearance of the Greek fields in full summer. That's a very interesting back to sirens. Oh, okay. So right here it says, the gods granted their prayer. They prayed for wings to fly across the sea. The gods granted their prayer. And in some versions... Demeter turned them into birds to punish them for not guarding Persephone. Mm. They've evolved. So wait, what happened in Black Panther? How were they in Black Panther? So they had wings. One, the, the main one named where he had wings on his feet. He could swim underwater, live underwater, breathe underwater, 
And then his army would pull up next to like Navy ships. And then they would just start singing this song. And then the guys on the ship would just start walking off the ship, just falling into the ocean one at a time. They could ride whales. They were like riding on whales. Like they pull up to fight. The whale would jump out the water. These niggas on their back, they jump off the wheel. I was like, oh my God. See? Interesting. Yeah. I knew somebody was going to be talking about it. So the merman. Press X down there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, right there before I get pissed. <laughs> right there. Okay. What? No, I, I won't go get pissed at you, but like there's there's a pissedness that in me that I, it's, it's stirred up if I get pissed. What is it? Oh, he's not talking about the scene. Where's the scene? Here we go, right here. Associated with Odyssey and the creatures are featured as beings who tempt sailors into the water with their hypnotic songs. So who are the sirens that are alive now, CP? Why are you trying to give me... You going to have gypsies hating me, sirens. Damn. Day, what up, though? D313, what the deal? E3, what the dinling, yo? Chris, the tech guy. You hear me? Shout out to Patreons. Somebody on Patreon like, hey man, you gotta start posting once a week or something for $10. Like, nigga, if you don't shut the fuck up, you know how much it costs to see me in the show for one time? And you paying $10 for, man, y'all just, man. Anyway, go ahead. Well, we were gonna do that game where what? they could ask questions, they could submit questions. That'd oh, be yeah. something. Yeah, no, we could do that, but they gotta chill the fuck out. Hmm. Is, that M- is that NBA young boy? Yup. That little nigga crazy. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> nothing to do with science. Nothing to do with nothing. He just over there on the thing. So yeah, why the Black Panther two siren scene is giving fans nightmares? Goosebumps. Yeah, because they know that shit is fucked. That shit. When I saw that, I was like, "Yo, you ever seen a guy on TikTok who works on that crab boat who records the singing?" Of course, Maya don't believe nothing except what's in a book. What? I just I don't have TikTok. It's Chinese spyware. I don't have TikTok either. I'm on that motherfucker though. Who's TikTok you on? Just people be posting my shit sometimes. Reggie Bo and all that. Uh, where where do they post it to? I don't know. Shit, let me look at that real quick. Yeah, because I'm gonna say I don't really. Uh... Wait, is this this guy here? Like a little uh, Mexican-looking dude. Yeah, he's something. Yep. Let me unmute this real quick. I hear it. I hear. Where's she at? What the fuck is that noise, bro? What is that noise? seems to echo from the ocean. Me- All right, that's See, I'm going to tell you what it is. The sirens probably got to come up late at night and exhale their lungs or and scream just to, you know what I'm saying? So they probably not trying to lure you in. They probably just under the cover at night, they can come up and... Ah. I mean, it's possible. I mean, we also have to... He could have doctored that video. That might not be a real video. There's a lot of hoaxes going around. Man. Look, his account has been banned from TikTok. That's interesting. It's shit going on out here, man. We don't know nothing because we just rego humans. We're not Kush. We're just rego. We don't know shit. And they're not telling us anything, but there is shit that is going on. Someone said that um, the this man said that the mermaid threw something like a crab or a fish yeah. in his boat. He threw it out and it threw it back into the boat. Let's try to find that video. <sighs> there are so many hoaxes going around online. You can't just believe something because you see it. Well, well, I don't fucking believe shit then. I Feel don't... it? Well, wait, 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 you wait. have to question everything you see now. Everything you see now, you got to question it. Question it, but then why they put it in Black Panther? That made me answer the question again. 
Now I'm asking the question two times. So you think that Hollywood is like sneakily trying to give you I all the information? I think that the rules of this shit go like this. We have to explain what stuff is. And the way they do that is through cinema and all of that. And then they wash their hands of it. If you make it more than what it is or you want to go more into it, that's on you. But they tell us the shit. We just have to believe them. Flat out. That's what I think. No, that's what I think. Not what I think, but that's what I think. You just don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm pretty skeptical skeptical of a lot of stuff that I see. As you should be. Because I'm just like, you know, there's so many people who just lie for the sake of lying and they enjoy oh, it. Oh, shit. How about this? Thank you, Day. He keeps getting taken down and the government agencies outside the government keep doing tests on his boat and shit. Yeah, a mermaid threw something something threw it back like like a crab back in his boat. And I can't wait to find it. Here, let me Cuz oh, you're going to get a bubble busted. I'm looking for it right now. What happened? I just closed all my tabs. Oh, I bet you didn't. I bet the, I bet I bet the um government did that. All right. So Like of course they say it's a crab. I mean, of course they say Look, right here. Okay. Because we're not catching you. Be free. Be free, homie. Sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta let them free, you know? Sometimes you just gotta let them roam free. Let's just walk right back. Let's see if we can find. Oh, yo! That could have been his friend. This, I these know, guys are I hoaxing. Know, I know. Oh, hell no. That's I know. so convenient. That he was actually filming that way and yeah. looking that way. I mean, it's it's good. It's entertaining. I'm not trying to take anything away from what this guy's doing, but I'm just like, hmm. I don't know if I, I don't know if I buy that. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I buy it because why not believe some shit sometimes, man? You ever feel that way? Motherfuckers be believing shit all the time. I want to believe some shit. I've got my heart broke too many times. Oh man, I'm sorry about that, Maya. About believing nah, stuff online. No, nah, nah, you know what you meant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. I just, you know, you get your hopes up for something and then it, it's this, this, and that. Yeah, man. I can't wait for the uh, Game of Thrones to come back. House of the Dragon. I, I wanna see I wanna see this uh this big ass dragon that they keep talking about. The uh the cannibal. He eats other dragons. Yeah. Okay. That's why they call him the can man. Um, but yeah, apparently he's supposed to be a beast, supposed to be bigger than Vagar. Vagar, this is, our, this is my first time seeing a dragon eat a dragon. Like, you think you're the shit because you got a dragon, but then a bigger dragon eats your dragon. He ate his fucking dragon. And him. Wow. Yeah, man. Just wings is flying through the sky. I can't wait to see the part two. They need to hurry up. Do like Atlanta did. Shoot them bitches one or two at a time. <laughs> I'm about to finish. I just watched the, uh, I don't know if y'all been watching the last season of Atlanta, but I just watched the Disney episode. I watched the um the Tyler Perry episode and I watched the uh episode about the shoes. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh God. crazy. Now this Disney one I just saw, bro, that it's that's wild. a comedy gold. Like it's so it's it's like one of those things is like you, you gotta really watch it to the end, but that damn I was like, damn, it's pretty damn good. Damn. The Atlanta kind of redeemed themselves because you know that I didn't really feel that good about season three too much. A little too much. It was too much out the way, off the story, and so I feel like you know they kind of that could have been a whole other show for Donald for Donald to just do a whole other show. Yeah, it didn't really feel as normal or like in the same room as the other the first two seasons, but this one kind of brings it back a little bit. I haven't watched in a few seasons. I watched season two, but I haven't watched since then. Yeah, I mean the the, the two new seasons have they just came out this year. That's why, but this is done. Like this season is it. There's no more. They're done, and I was like, damn it. So I got two more episodes, but I watched. To uh to last night, um the Tyler Perry one was funny as hell. Honestly, it, everything Literally is like you think you know something, and then it twists on you. It's yeah. so good. The, the twist at the end of the things that it just be like, 
what the hell? It'd just be crazy. But um, CP, you seem to be in the... Have you played God of War? No, I got it. One of my PS5s, I just bought it a God of War one. Um, I would say, have you ever played the God of War game? A little bit. The one with his son. The first one with his son. Oh, so 2000, 2018. You yeah. might even go back and play like the old joints. Really? On the PS2. They it's a there's a story there. Oh. And I think they have I think they remastered them at, or something like it that. It starts at PS2. Yeah. It the first God of War game was on PS2. But um you don't have to have a PS2 to get it. I think they have it like remastered right. or you can get them on but PS5. Do I, like, do I it's like Do you have to play it in order yeah. to understand? I don't I don't I, I don't know. But you have. I played I've only played one and it was on the PSP. It was like the Chain of Olympus one. That was the one I played. The other ones I know of them or whatever, but I know that there's a story there. Like but it seems Zelda. to be up your your alley as far as like your interests and stuff like that. The Greek and yeah, I oh no, I, from what I've seen, I like it. And then they like fight Thor and all kind of shit on it's there. It's crazy, man. It's yeah. one of the yeah, and highly regarded every year. Like every well, not every year. Every time they drop a game, it's like this is game of the year contender this year easily. Oh, all time, yeah. Unless GTA dropped that six, and unless like uh, who else could compete? That's too late now. They're going. It, it, yeah, I know it's over. Yeah, I think. Um, who else could have a good ass game? Ghost of Tsushima, so good. It's such a good game. Man. Yeah, I know that people waiting on two. Sucker Punch makes some good stuff. Cause I I started Zelda with Breath of the Wild. I played it back when I was a kid a little bit, but the graphics just it was like eh, whatever. But yeah. this shit, Breath of the Wild is amazing, and I know two is about to drop. Yep, in May I think. Yeah. It's been so that's gonna be exciting. Um. Yeah, man. If y'all want to follow me on game, you can follow my caffeine channel. So on Comedian CP on Caffeine. I know we don't do the podcast anymore. They didn't want to pay us no more, so we ain't finna do that shit for free. You know what I'm saying? Anybody got time? So, you know, we do our own shit. We sit on y'all platform for the free ball. But I do game on there, man. You know, if y'all want to come on there and check me out, it's Comedian CP. What I like about it is that I could change games and still be on the stream. That is huge for me. Because you're streaming, using a PC to stream, right? Right, I'm streaming through a PC, through OBS. Yeah. So like that's the right just, way to do it. Yeah, just capturing everything. You just go over da da da. But like going from like your PlayStation to like YouTube or Twitch, and you want to stop this game and play another game. Yeah, cut the whole stream. Cut up. the whole stream, and it's like, nah, fuck all that. So I like what I'm doing. Um, it's fun. I change games quick. I might be in Call of Duty, be like fuck this, go to FIFA, play FIFA. Fuck this, go to 2K. You know, so that's a side game. So y'all want to check it out? Come fuck with it. Um. Other than that, man, this has been another episode of the CP Podcast. Um, we don't be talking about shit. We just be talking about the fuck we want to talk about. Um, if you got a problem with that, then go watch somebody else's podcast, man. I'm not even trying to be funny, but it's like, duh, we get sick of the comments, man. We get sick of people being like, why are you eating? Nigga, because I'm hungry. Why are you watching? Because you want to watch, right? But I'm hungry. What do you want me to do? I work a lot. It's not your problem, but it's also not my problem that it's not your problem. Um, we're trying to get a camera on a mirror. Um, I think it scares people that they feel like you don't exist, and it's kind of strange. <laughs> um, so we're, 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 we are working on that. And uh, I want both of y'all to see this new Black Panther movie. This underground city shit is crazy because I want to start looking up underground cities all over the world because I know they're there. They're all over there. We're, we're, we're walking on top of underground civilizations right now. Well, that's special because the way the rock is, they're able to dig into it. Mm -hmm. So that they had that advantage where they were in Turkey. Right, but it's here though. El Chapo and all them motherfuckers be having them under their houses and going from house to house. Oh, it happens. That's. Am I lying? I mean, it's not the same thing, but I see where you're going. It's underground tunnels and shit here. At least places. Oh man, I'm about to go home with my fucking beer. I got a show tonight. I don't even know where it's at. Hey y'all, I'm out of here, man. I did like Namor as a villain. Y'all gotta check this guy out. He's he's the Mexican dude in Black Panther who live in the water. He's just the best villain I've seen in a long time. We'll probably go Friday. No, I ain't going no day on Friday. Because it's after Thanksgiving. Everybody's off. We'll go Friday. Oh shit. The day after Thanksgiving, I'm gonna be in Texas. Oh, are we not shooting next week? Damn, no, we're not. We're okay. not for Saturday. Okay. So we want to do Wednesday or something like that, or Tuesday, that's fine, but I cannot do Saturday um, because I'm going to be in Dallas at the Arlington Improv for the whole weekend, having a great time with my brothers, Reggie Jr. and Reg Thomas. It's about to be exciting, man. So 
Y'all want to pull up on it? Y'all need to do that. Tickets are available right now. If you're in Texas, I suggest you come, man. It's going to be fun. I'm, 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 I'm going to be giving away some shit, too. I got some giveaways I want to give away. So if you want to show up, you don't want to miss this. I'm coming through like Santa Claus, bringing shit. I'm not really going to bring it. But yeah, I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.